Now at noon, today is Memorial Day and a South Florida community is honoring a hometown hero. Army Sergeant LaDavid Johnson was killed during an ambush in Niger back in 2017. Today a breakfast was held in his honor. CBS 4's Joan Murray is live in Miami Gardens with a story. Joan. It is nearly two years since this man passed away, and every year here at the Betty Ferguson Center here in Miami Gardens, they are remembering this fallen hero. Just 25 when he was killed in an ambush attack in Africa, Miami Garden Sergeant LaDavid Johnson is celebrated each Memorial Day at this breakfast in his hometown. His sacrifice is always on the mind of his widow. I cherish my husband and my kids, and his legacy will live forever. And I just want the world to remember him as the hero that he are. Veterans and their families, Miami Garden's mayor and police chief, all here to honor a hometown hero. And just to see a young guy like that, 25 years old, leave us is very hurting to me and my family, you know, to see something like this happen. You know, what transforms America from an idea into an ideal is people's willingness to sacrifice their lives for what they believe in. He did that. A member of our community went across seas uh, and he gave his life. He's gave, he gave his life for what the American dream is, what the American promise is, what we believe in. And sometimes we don't really, we go about our day-to-day -day lives and we think that our freedoms are free. They aren't. They're paid for by people like him. There are still lingering questions about the attack on his unit and Sergeant Johnson's untimely death. His widow says it is toughest on their children. They act about their daddy every day. They act about him every day. My son looks just like him. My daughter, you know, doesn't have a relationship like her dad, like her big brother and sister. That's the hardest part. But other than that, they're doing fine. She says she honors her husband's memory now by giving back to the community something he always did. And Sergeant Johnson left behind three children between the ages of one and seven. A foundation has been set up in his memory that his widow now runs. In Miami Gardens, Joan Murray, CBS 4 News.